morning guys. We've made it to the start of the Tour de France. The cyclists are just warming up on the track behind us. The crowds are starting to uh, build up and getting pretty excited. <laughs> Mark Cavendish! Woohoo! I can sense today's vlog. It's just going to be me getting excited about seeing cyclists. We've seen Peter Sagan and Mark Cavendish. If you're any cycling fans out there that know what that means, it's basically like the Ronaldo and the Messi of cycling. We're yet to see Chris Froome, but no, Chris we're Hoy. looking out. Chris Hoyt is a track cyclist, Lewis. Very excited. I've always wanted to come to a uh, stage for the Tour de France. We're just in the queue for some breakfast this morning. We're going for a curry bratwurst to start the day. What are you going to go for? Curry bratwurst as well? Charlie's a little bit stumped because he's vegetarian. It definitely doesn't look like they've got any vegetarian stuff up there. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you. Oh yeah. Look at that for a breakfast. That is really nice. <laughs> what did he get, Lewis? He's got a drink with some polka dots in. Oh yeah. Hey! Got the Tour de France merch. Lewis went for the polka dot jersey. I went for the yellow jersey. I went for the Chris Broom. King of the mountains, mate. King of the mountains. So the Tour de France caravan, as it's called, parade, We've just gone past. Me and Charlie were lucky enough to get hats. Lewis, not so lucky. Just coming to the end, which means we're about an hour, maybe two hours away from the cycling. A few moments later. The Tour de France 2017 is underway. I'm waiting at the 250 meters to go mark. Um, expecting the first few cyclists coming very shortly. Um, we're watching it on the big screen up here. So we've got a nice view of the final straight, but we can also watch it on telly so you can see when they're coming. Oh, here comes the one. We've been unbelievably lucky. Um, we were waiting just over there, getting good a few good shots of the finish line. Uh, this press area here wasn't actually being used. It started to rain, so all the press people went out with their big cameras. And um, they were like, well, if it's not being used, you guys might as well fill it up. So me, uh, Charlie and Lewis managed to get into the press area and the finish line is here. Here comes the cyclist now. Um, so we basically have the best seats in the house. Really, really lucky. to commence his 2017 Tour de France campaign. Representing Great Britain at 32 years of age, ladies and gentlemen, three-time Tour de France champion, Christopher Froome, now 15 seconds away from the commencement of an all-new title defense campaign. Dusseldorf, let's count together. Six, five, four, three, 
Alberto Contador, Quintana, all the great Tour de France contenders, all the best. We're pretty buzzed, we've got our free hats. Um, we're just going to rush it out to the finish, see if we can catch Chris Froome. There's not much chance, because it's only 15 minutes, but we're going to try. How did you find that? For your first time? That was great. It was amazing, like, the buzz. I didn't know anything, but it was fantastic. Yeah. We're just making our way down to the finish for the podium. Um, hopefully we get to see who's won. We still don't know. We think it might be um, Geraint Thomas. He was doing pretty well. We're currently on the track. We're, we've just gone past 300 metres to go. Definitely shouldn't be on here, but... Chris Froome just went past. We were doing a time lapse, so I don't know if he was on it. I'll pause it. Hopefully he was on the time lapse. Geraint Thomas has won the first stage of the Tour de France that makes it worth coming for. He's probably on the podium over there, can't see a lot at the moment. We're back at the apartment now. We had ham and cheese sandwiches tonight and um, we're about to go to bed. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching again. It's been a really good experience to cycle to Dusseldorf for the Tour de France. Today was absolutely amazing. I'm so glad we made the journey. It started off with just an idea. These two guys were brave enough to come and join me and I'm so glad they did. We've had such a lovely time so far. Today is day seven. We've got four days now to cycle home and we're going to be going to Eindhoven in the Netherlands again to, for tomorrow. Also, if you haven't already um, donated to our Just Giving page, we'd really appreciate um, any money that you can afford as we now have made it to Dusseldorf. Tomorrow, six hour day to Eindhoven. It's our longest day yet, 120 kilometres. It's going to be quite painful actually, but I'm sure we'll be fine. We'll power on through. We're leaving tomorrow morning at 6am. So there'll be another vlog tomorrow, but it might be a little bit late because we're going to be cycling for a hell of a lot of the day. Thanks for watching um, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.